Many people wonder what is the world coming to? Are we going up? Are we going down? And who should I listen to? Who should I not listen to? It's getting more and more confusing for many people because there are of course always the Judgment Day, Apocalypse, Doomsday stories sometimes in a negative sense, sometimes in a positive sense from aliens coming to take us away to everything being magically changed by God, the world being recreated, the pure people being taken away from the earth and only the wicked being allowed to stew in their own problems. Um, the unfortunate reality is that we have to take care of things ourselves. Yes, there exist higher powers, but ultimately they don't have the authority or the right or even the possibility to interfere too much on our plane. Um, and this has to do with spiritual laws. So one of the main spiritual laws is the law of freedom. We have free will. This universe exists for us to manifest our free will. And if some all-powerful being would come around and force things into a certain way and I would not have the strength to resist it, there would be no free will. Free will would be a farce. It would just be like, yes, you can go anywhere you want, but you're tied up. <laughs> um, so not in this universe. That's the law, short of it. Um, but things do change on the world and there are powers which are creating that change and there are people who are working with these powers which are creating the change. So there are bigger plans in motion uh, but it is not a very direct thing. The higher power won't interfere directly. It is usually through agents and these agents can be humans, they can be animals, they can be nature itself. Um, but there has to be something on our level of existence which will lend itself to manifest the will of this higher power. So if we look at just humanity's role, we see that things have been, in a way, moving. Um, the first stage, you could say, of humanity was that um, higher powers were interested in yeah, creating opportunities for spirits to, to grow and they thought it would be interesting to um, give people um, yeah, in a way uh, more choices and to create these choices ultimately the energy body and therefore also the consciousness has to be split up, has to become more uh, dualistic in nature so you can not just go somewhere, but you can choose, oh, do you take this road or that road? So there needs to be more duality. So they started to chop up the human being uh, and split it into uh, various parts to fragment it. Uh, so ultimately it would have more choice. Uh, and therefore also more variation in how the life path would manifest. So along comes uh, a race of, uh, of spirits, which we now know as the Atlanteans, and they uh, saw another purpose for this duality, namely power. If you have duality, you don't only have a choice, going left or going right, but actually these two powers have a tension between them. They can be opposites, they can yeah, attract or repulse each other, and we can use this. Um, so instead of just creating freedom for the sake of freedom, it became um, yeah, creating opposite sides for, yeah, for using power and creating more movement and stronger effects when the Atlantean spirit started to get involved with us. So next stage you could say in our uh, evolution uh, is when the uh, gods came along. So we have now all this power, we have now all these choices, but how to use them wisely, how to develop ourselves, because if we have so many choices, like many people nowadays, they just wander around and 
don't know what to study, they don't know where to work, they don't know what to eat, they don't know what to watch on TV. They're just overwhelmed by all these choices. And so it was also in ancient times. And this is why the gods appeared to tell us, okay, what does every choice mean? And if you want to follow a path on developing yourself in the ways of love or war or statementship or healing, okay, we can guide you on that path. We can allow you to consequently make choices which will structurally lead your life in a certain direction. You can build up knowledge, power, karma within your life and also over lifetimes. And this is a process which was started by um, the deities. So next stage is now we have all these yeah, different powers, we have all these different roles of the warrior, the lover, uh, the healer, the philosopher. And um, now we are not no longer thinking only of um, developing ourselves, but actually also about gaining power over the world and over others. So you could say politics enters into the game. And with politics come different views of what should the world be like, what should society be like, what should laws be like, what should men be like, what should women be like, what should parents be like, what should children be like. It's and all these opinions they start to yeah form groups. And these groups ultimately became egregores. And every egregore has a certain idea of what society should be like and how uh, one can develop themselves in the best way possible. Um, as we know, we only have one reality, uh, which means that not every egregore can get what it wants very easily. So they start to compete with each other, they start to form little groups and cliques and make alliances, break alliances, and it becomes rather messy. And this is actually the stage we are currently in, where yeah, um, the Ecocors have started to play a bigger and bigger role over the past 2000 years or so, and they are now the dominant um, yeah, guiding force for humanity. So it is no longer the individual spirits or uh, the gods, but usually it's the Ecocors these days. 